Hello world, my name is Emily and you're watching Rugby TV. Have you ever been to a sevens tournament and wondered why people are walking around talking about cups and bowls? You know, cups and bowls? I remember going to my first sevens tournament five years ago and having no idea how these strange tournament structures work. But at the time I didn't really care because I was just there to play rugby and I loved playing rugby and nothing else really mattered. To explain what's going on at most sevens tournaments, let's say we have 16 teams in a tournament. You know, for domestic competitions, it might look more like 16 teams in one division of a local sevens tournament. Like 16 high school teams, or 16 college women's teams, or 16 clubs men's teams. Usually the first step in a tournament is having pool play. How pools are set up varies a lot depending on the size of the tournament and how many teams sign up for the tournament. The inner workings of those pools aren't really important here. What is important is that after pool play, there will be 8 teams with winning records and 8 teams with losing records. Now after the first round of playoff games, the groups of eight are again split half and half. So now we have four groups of four teams. The top four teams play for the cup, the next four teams battle for the plate, the next four teams after that duke it out for the bowl, and the bottom four teams in a 16 team tournament play for the shield. So pop quiz, what place are the teams playing for? if they're playing in a plate final. The answer is that they're playing for fifth place. Another question, what place did you finish if you won the bowl final? The answer is you finish ninth. Yeah, ninth, woo! So I think the reason that tournaments do this um, and organize the tournament in this way is because we want there to be continued interest and investment in playing in the tournament still even after teams are not in the running for first place anymore. It's similar to having different divisions, Division 1, D2, D3, etc. At a sevens tournament, we're essentially creating divisions on the fly during pool play and then fighting for those divisional championships in the playoff games. Now the fun part is coming up with what silverware, kitchenware, or hardware the next four teams in a 20-team tournament would play for. A spoon, a tea kettle, a cheese grater, a blender, a French press, <laughs> cups and bowls, cups and bowls. You know, I'm really tempted when I have this bowl to, you know, do the Zelda thing. Da -da -da -da! Oh yeah. And go USA! Yeah, USA! Woo!